So hey guys, it's Quinston and today we're gonna look at basically stacks. I wanted to start something new. So um, everybody, I think everybody knows the basic fundamentals of a stack. It's just something in which you push information, as in data, and at a certain amount of time where you want to pop it, you pop the data so that you know it comes out. It's a uh, first in, last out. Okay, the first person which comes goes in comes out of the last. So first in, last out kind of data structure. So basically, in order to make a stack, you need uh, you can imagine the stack as a bucket of you know clothes. Suppose you have a cloth which you put at the bottom, and on top of that you put another cloth, and on top of that you put some other clothes. So the one at the bottom can be only accessed if the ones at the top are removed or popped basically. So pop is basically gonna remove the clothes from the top and you know pushing is basically pushing it inside the data structure. So it's like a bucket. You're pushing numbers or you're pushing data or you're pushing alphabets, or you're pushing something. So what do we need in order to have a stack? So first we need basically uh, a constant function which is gonna dictate the size of the stack. So we're gonna have int uh, no, we're gonna have static final int max, which is equal to, suppose we have a stack of size 5 uh, for now. Um, also, the next thing which we need is an array, obviously. So int 5, uh, int, uh, this is gonna name stack, so let's name it stack, is equal to new int 5. This is how you declare, um, you know, arrays in Java. Also, uh, we're gonna have two files which we're gonna work with. The first is a stack class, and the next is an actual main function class, which is the stack applier. So we can make multiple stacks. Anyway, so this is our stack class. In so in this, we're gonna have the actual stack. So we got this. Now we need one more variable. That is the uh, a variable to you know get the, um, the the top of the stack, the, the value, the index of the top of the stack. So for that, we have int top, which we're gonna initialize to zero. Okay, we got that. Now this top is going to tell us uh, what what is at the top of the stack, obviously. So next we have um, three functions, which are which is the pop function, the push function, and the is full function. The is full function will tell us if the stack is full or not. The pop function will basically pop the data. That is, we're going to deal with numbers of the stack, and the push function will basically push the elements inside the stack. You'll understand how we push it and everything. So first of all, we're going to go and uh, make the push function. So void push and in this we're going to take an integer int num because we're going to push a number so we're going to pass a number with it so so then we have if top is less than max then we have a stack top plus plus is equal to num um, this is because I, I mean you can even write it like this I mean this is the same thing top and then you can have top plus plus it's actually the same thing, but you know, it's just something fancy, you know. Sometimes you need to have fancy stuff in your programs, you know, to make people think that, oh my god, it's so complicated, but it's not, obviously. Nothing is complicated. Next, you have um, else. Now, what if top is less than max? We have this. But what if top is greater than max? And, you know, it's going out of this, you know, range. So then we have system dot out. Oh, sorry, that's a dot. Out dot print ln that is the print to next line um, then we have over here the stack cannot push anymore cannot push anymore I hope there are many spelling mistakes okay so this is one function that is the push function so it was that simple just remember if top is less than max then just put it in the stack and do top plus plus because you're gonna go to the next layer now so you fill, fill the bottom and you go in the top you fill that top and you fill again about the top and we're going to do that until we reach the max basically okay simple enough next uh, is the pop function so the pop function has a bit of you know things which we have to think about first let's just make the function int pop so it's going to return an integer so we have int pop so what this does is basically return an integer which is on the top of the stack so in order to get to that we go return stack and we go top but uh, this will not return whatever you want you just go minus 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 because see when it comes to the top see top plus plus over here then the max value which can be attained by top is actually equal to uh, 9 right 
So if it's nine or uh, so sorry ten. So if it's ten already, then it will ca cause a problem because if you do stack of ten, there is nothing. Uh, suppose if max is equal to nine, I mean, if top is ten, then there is no point because the array only goes from zero to nine. So that's why before if it's ten over here, you could you got to do minus minus pre increment, which top by which top becomes uh, you know eight or uh, nine sorry, and then you print it off. So that's what we do. But there's a problem here. See, when uh, initially, if somebody, you know, some stupid person pops the stack without pushing ins anything inside of it, uh, this will be going haywire. You know, this will not even work. It, it's going to create a lot of problems. So it, that's why we need to enclose this in try catch blocks because it, then the indices will be negative one, negative two, which is not something we want. So we will try, and after that, we go catch. Uh, it's also available in C++, but you can use some other technique. I just thought this was easier in Java, so I used this one. Exception E. And uh, over here, what you do is you, uh, well, instead of, you know, cop this, I just copy and paste what's written over here. It's, uh, you know, simpler. So you can just do, the stack cannot push anymore, instead of the cache cannot pop anymore. Simple. And then you can do a return minus one, because, you know, sometimes... If it doesn't, uh, the 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 function is a failure, then you can return something else. So then you can have a pop. Uh, yeah, we have to take the boolean function, right? So boolean is stack full. So this will return the value uh, whether the stack is full or not, and this will return if basically this first thing is we need always the conditions if top is greater than max. Okay, or equal to max minus one. So if top is greater than or equal to max minus one, we're gonna return true. Well, it is full, isn't it? Is stack full? Well, yeah, it is full. Else, we're gonna return false. It's not full. Simple, isn't it? So that's all the functions you need to make a stack. <laughs> that's it. Nothing else. Now, in order to use this stack which we created, we need to actually make the function that is the main function. So we make this in the new file, that is the stack function file. So uh, to use this, we just go stack. Uh, sorry, the name of the file is stack class. Stack is equal to uh, new stack class. And that's about it. Now we have a new stack. And to add stuff to this stack, we go stack dot push, see, push number 30, put 30, and then your system, or we can just, you know, and here we can write uh, stack dot pop, S T A C K dot P O P. And uh, let's see if this runs, and I, I, I hope it runs perfectly. And yeah, we have 30 over there, we push 30, we pop 30. Let's have something else. We go stack. Uh, 330 and 20. And then you pop this. Control C, VV. Yeah. 20, 330, and 30 again. So 20, 330, 30 again. So that's how we pop. So there's one thing which we did. Um, the other thing, like, and that is this. You see uh, over here, we go this, and we go pop equal to equal to minus 1. You know, the question mark, then you go. Stack is uh, MT, E M P T Y, and then you have colon, sorry, colon. Stack is not empty because you can't really then judge basically. So if you run this, you can see we get the printed out stack is empty. Now how does this work? This is one of the special functions in like, um, you know. Java, and it's even available in C++, that you can choose whether this condition is true. It's like an if and else statement, but it's basically a very small if and else statement. You can make like one executions. So you have this condition in which you check if it's true or false. If it's true, it will print this. If it's false, it will print this. That's it. And right now we printed our, you know, stack is empty. That's it. If you put false over here, I'm just, this is an example. Stack is not empty, see? So that's all about stack, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I am very, you know, if you guys want to support this, I would encourage you to do all of that and, you know, send me 
questions or whatever. Next, I'm going to make a probably an advanced version of a stack, or I'm going to make a queue. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, that's all. Thank you. Bye bye.